Our final guest, Jean Jones, talks a lot about volunteering in the Valley, but she is also a volunteer herself. This time every year, AARP participates in a service project, and Jean and her guest, Rosie Yulhorn, will tell us more about it now. Hi there, we're back again. And you know what? You notice today, I'm wearing my work clothes. I'm wearing my work clothes because we've got a special project to tell you about. Volunteering in the Valley is a joint effort between CVTV and Long Branch Area Chapter of AARP. Today, I've brought a guest with me, Rosie Yulhorn, who is one of the board members from our chapter. And every year about this time, we get ready to do our community-wide food drive for the emer Make an Emergency Food Pantry. And that pantry serves anyone in our Macon County area who has a food issue in their household because of some emergency. You can use that pantry up to four times a year. And we work very closely with uh, Linda Truitt on that, who chairs that facility. And we're going to tell you a little bit about our food drive and why we do it. A lot of groups all across the country do things to commemorate 9-11. But what AARP has chosen to do for 9-11 is to do a local project that is uh, significant for their community in terms of community need. We don't have a memorial service. We don't read names, ring bells, light candles. In our area, we do a food drive for our local food pantry. Rosie, tell us a little bit about your experience with the food pantry, and also tell us about some of the things that we're going to be collecting. Well, um, my experience is, is that I've always just helped, you know, uh, sorting out the items that we, you know, put them in certain categories, get them ready to, to be to delivered to the food pantry. And uh, you can donate just about anything, um, you, uh, any cereal, your dry cereal, macaroni and cheese, your stuffings, uh, crackers, uh, rice, beans, canned fruit, canned vegetables, uh, cakes, uh, cornbread mixes, your nuts, and some female items, and paper towels, and Kleenexes. And then this year, we're going to also collect dry only of cat and dog food. That has been a request from the pantry, the food pantry that we, that they are in, in need of. Mm -hmm. Well, if you remember a couple of shows ago, we had a young lady on here. Her name is Elizabeth, and she is doing this pet food collection as her silver medal project for her Girl Scouting. And we thought that it was a wonderful idea, and we had brought it up before, and the food pantry really didn't have anything in place to use the food. Remember that the food that we want to collect needs to be non-perishable items and we specifically request because of the way the project is set up that the pet foods need to be dry cat and dog food only. Also we would like to remind you that not everybody is going to see this show and the reason we're on here asking for volunteers today is that I would love if every one of you who sees this would talk to one friend, one relative, one neighbor, one person that you know doesn't get CVTV and won't see this show. Remind them that there are hunger needs in our communities, that we do have people who have issues with insufficient food, and ask them if they would be willing to bring something to one of these locations and these will be on your screen your your cbtv corporate office sheraton valley is one of the places where there will be boxes so if you're in that area and have something you would like to donate stop in their front office and they'll be happy to take that from you there 
is a whole list of other businesses and organizations around our community that will have collection points, including places like the hospital and the nursing homes. Those are places where it would be easy for you to drop off things that you might have. You know, this all comes back to one of the main goals of AARP. It's something that's kind of a motto for us, and that is to serve, not to be served. And I think Rosie's a great example of that. Rosie has come into our community, what, about two years ago? Three. Three years ago. Mm -hmm. And she's become active in our chapter, and every year she finds new things that she's able to help us out with. And that's what we encourage all of our members to do. If you'd like to come by and sit in on a meeting, you feel free to do so. We meet every first Thursday at Lock Haven at 4 p.m. And you're welcome to come as a guest to any of those meetings. And just see if we're a comfortable fit for you. In the meantime, we've got lots of other groups out there in the community that can use your help. Rosie, I bet you could name two or three other groups that help with needs for food and meals in the community. Well, yeah, the senior citizens always need, the senior center, I should say, is always in need of, of people that can come right. and, and help serve meals that, you know, during the lunch hour for the seniors. Mm -hmm. They uh, also look for drivers to take those meals to the homebound which is extremely important. Not only are you delivering a healthy meal when you take part in that, but you may be the only human contact that individual has that entire day. Yeah. We've got other things like the Agape Cafe, the monthly food distribution. All of those are worth your time and effort. Don't forget about things like our nursing homes. Even if you can't donate time on a regular basis, or you say, well, I don't have any special talent. Everybody has something to contribute. Go down to the Community Child Development Center, and talk to Trish Knowles, and see about reading with the children, or just playing a game with them. Something to make them feel more at home, because, you know, parents are at work, and those children are very young children because at the Community Child Development Center, they stop attending there when they start kindergarten. So these are our very youngest citizens. Don't forget the Agape Cafe when you're thinking of opportunities to provide meals. They're there uh, two Saturdays a month and you can contact Jamie Elrod also, we've had the Macon Historical Society. We have lots of other groups. We have home care nonprofits who provide things like hospice care. They need volunteers, something that's as simple as needing someone to sit in the home with a hospice patient while the primary caregiver goes to buy groceries or goes to their own doctor's appointment. There's a million things you can do out there, right, Rosie? Yes, there is. And we can only each do a few of them, but if we all do one or two, all the needs get met. Thank you. Thank you, Rosie, for being here. You're welcome. And we're going to have a great time. We have a goal of 1,200 items to go to the emergency food pantry this year. Think how great you'd feel. We're looking at having that all collected by 9-11. We already have a date to deliver over there everything we've collected at 1 p.m. on the 11th. So you've got some good time to think about what would those folks need? What would I like to see? And don't forget the importance of protein items, canned tuna, peanut butter, things like that, because they get lots of canned goods, vegetables, fruits, soups. They get quite a lot of things like mac and cheese and hamburger helper. 
but that protein is so important, especially to our youngest youngsters who not only still need to feed their bodies so they can grow, but they need to feed their minds so that can grow as well. See you soon. Thanks. Thank you, Jean and Rosie. Volunteering connects you to the community in which you live and positively impacts the lives of others as well as your own. Mizzou football is back. The Tigers take on Southeast Missouri State on Saturday, and you can watch the action on the SEC Network. Game kicks off at 3 o'clock Central, so tune in to channels 80 and 480 to follow your Tigers. And it's not too late to sign up for UFC 191 this Saturday, September 5th. Demetrius Johnson is on a mission to defend his title against John Dodson in a rematch from their first tussle in the Octagon. Call 660-395-9000 to order today. Yeah, and you don't want to wait too late to get that ordered if you want to watch that get fight. It, get it before the weekend. That way you're Absolutely. not worrying about it. Absolutely. Well, it's the third week of high school football. Salisbury Panthers play Schuyler County at home, making Tigers, Tigers take on Clark County at Clark County, and the Western Hornets travel to St. Genevieve to play Valley Catholic on Saturday. So good luck to all area teams. Labor Day holiday weekend is this weekend, and there's no better way to celebrate than to take part in the 39th Great Pershing Balloon Derby in Brookfield starting Friday night and lasting through Monday morning. Come out Friday night and enjoy the night flames on Main Street, and this is really something to see if you've never seen that, and the kids love it. Saturday is full of activities, including sidewalk sales, a baby show, a parade, free entertainment at the gazebo, and balloon flights at 7.15 a.m. and 6 p.m. that night. Sunday's flights are at 7.15 a.m. and 6 p.m., and another flight at 7.15 Monday. Check out the full schedule at PershingBalloonDerby.com hoping for good weather for all the balloonists and it's really a beautiful sight to see all those balloons and if you're lucky enough to get a, a ride in one it's really an experience you'll always remember something new sponsored by the Macon Area Chamber of Commerce is a twilight tour taking place in downtown Macon Saturday September 12th it's an outstanding event with home tours fine w food wine and entertainment get your group together and tour the homes of Deanne Hackman Lynn and Stephen Keithley Pat and Dale Clark, and tour the beautiful Macon Presbyterian, Presbyterian Church. Enjoy menu selections from AJ's, CNR Market, Nolan's, and Pringer Foods. Tickets are available from chamber members or at the Macon Chamber office. Call Darla at 660-385-2811 with any questions. And tickets are $20 and proceeds benefit the Macon Area Chamber of Commerce. Also taking place September 12th is the Mid-Missouri Hospice Annual Walk to Remember Stroll Fundraiser. The walk starts at their office at 102 West Reed Street in Moberly at 8 a.m. They hope to bring recognition of the special care and critical services that hospice professionals and volunteers offer. Door prizes will be given out. Anyone interested may participate by calling 660-263-1517. Mark your calendars, Tune Fest and the St. Bonaventure Fall Block Party is September 19th. It's a full day of activities in downtown Marceline, including a princess tea party and pirates, notable artists, inflatable games, homemade pies, quilt auction, concessions, a Knights of Columbus catfish dinner, a dance, beer garden, and more. More information will come closer to time. There's so much at that event going yes. through. Yes. It's actually a combined event, so that's that you know that adds to even it. more, even more great for the family. Don't let your slow computer slow you down. Let Sheridan Valley's team of certified professionals assist you with a tune-up. Call today to 660-395-9000. That's option three, and we'll provide prompt, professional, and affordable service. Tune in to CVTV this week and enjoy Buckland's 2015 homecoming event, and what an event it was! a new senior moment, and a new series that we're thrilled to bring you called Get Fit with Ludwig. Ryan Ludwig, a certified professional fitness trainer, has a workout that works for everyone, even pregnant women. So watch CVTV this week. And check out our weekly lineup for a full listing at cvalley.net. And you can also check out CVTV's YouTube channel for all your favorite CVTV programs. Simply click on the YouTube icon on Sheridan Valley's homepage. Our quote this week from Richard Simmons, American actor and fitness personality, is fitting in keeping with our keeping you connected theme. He is quoted saying, everyone in this world is somehow connected, so why not just be nice to everybody? I think he's always nice to everyone. Overly, <laughs> right? Very enthusiastic. Very enthusiastic. And, and you know, we are all are connected. There's, you know, there's... It makes everyone around you that same way, though, when you in that personality, so... Absolutely. Good for him. So. 
That's it for now for the Sheridan Valley Channel and Darren Elazar's. I'm Donna Bell, and we thank you for sharing a part of your day with us. Stay tuned. Another CVTV program is coming up shortly.